So guys, before I start this video, I gotta quickly say there was a couple guys that said, uh, the one guy said he wanted to send me a knife that he made, he makes knives for skinning. And I forgot your, your website, I'm so sorry. Um, I don't, I don't I don't remember your name or your website name or anything. Um, you sent me an email and then there was another guy um, that wanted to send me uh, some uh, snare cable or something. But anyways, I lost all the contact info for you two people. Um, but I got a post box now. So you'll be able to send me stuff. I didn't want to give out my, you know, my home address or whatever. But here's the address if you want. Take a screenshot right now. It's Sasky Outdoors, Box 431, Marshall, Saskatchewan, Canada. S0M1R0. And yeah, that's my address. You can send me whatever. But yeah, thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. All right, guys. So, um, cut this nice fish. The wife caught it, 10 pounder. We usually don't keep fish this big, but he swallowed the hook pretty badly. So we had to uh, dispatch him to get the hook out. So yeah, we could have just, I guess, cut the line, but she she wanted to keep him anyway so i'll show you guys how i uh <clears throat> clean pike or fillet him whatever you want to call so i usually start behind the head here where it starts to get soft right in here usually it's behind the gill plate there all i do is cut down till you feel that backbone right there you can hear the knife ticking and then I cut all the way to the back fin like that so that piece is boneless that has zero bones in it To this table this table's sliding on me so now what I do flip him over on his back or you can just cut down like this man my knife needs to be sharpened Whew. Cut down like that, all the way down. Then take your knife. You see here, this is the Y bone in the middle. And this is the backbone. Normally guys will cut down here and then remove the Y bones off the fillet. But I just, you'll see in a second what I'm trying to do. Like a pike has a Y bone that runs in the middle there. This one keep it like that. You hear it tinking, you know you're you're in the right spot. And I'm not the best at cleaning fish, so I usually don't clean them when they're this big, but then you just cut at the back, about there. And 
start from back here. Let's cut along here, pass the fin. Get some of that belly meat. There you go, another boneless fillet. And you see what I mean here? If you would have cut down here, let's show you quick. By the backbone. You know, yeah, it looks like a lot of meat, but honestly, it's not because once you get that Y bone out, like this is all bone in here anyways. So, you know, by the time you remove the bones from in here, there's hardly, you know, it's, it's what this would be good for is you get these out of the way, the insides out and you make a soup, soup stock or something. Probably would be pretty good. I've heard the guys doing that. Same thing on the other side. Just cut where the Y bone is. You see that white line that runs that way? <clears throat> and just cut down on the gill plate like that. Pike are so diff difficult. To, well, I mean, every fish is slimy, but pike especially are slimy fish, so. Well, it's much easier to do with a smaller fish. See the Y bone right there as it comes down? Stay on the outside of it, you're doing good. And it comes quite a ways down, as you can see. Same thing. And then go behind here, cut straight down. Almost fill it. But yeah, you know, you're not really, you know, you could, if you wanted to, cut down here and and zip that off like this, right? But you still got a Y bone in here, which the Y bone's angle, so, you know, it's like right there. So you're getting, you know, there's, again, you're not really wasting any meat by doing it this way. And now what you do with these is you take the back here. If anybody knows how to get the skin off, I'm assuming. Like 
Ja. Leave yourself a little bit to hold on to. because there's no meat on it really. No, there's no meat. Just skin. Clean it up if you want to. And this has no bones in it. Zero. Big enough. 